Hi, I'm Toby Burrell with Swain County Schools. On November 6th, the residents of Swain County will have the opportunity to have their voice heard on a quarter cent referendum that would go to Swain County Schools. Now, from the beginning at Swain County Schools, we've been upfront about what we want to do with this money. Let's take a look at some of these phase plans that we're talking about in a little bit more detail. Swain County High School campus was completed in 1977. During that era and that time frame, safety and security was not a concern at all. As a matter of fact, most every school built during that time frame was built on a wide open concept with many entrances and exits to the building. Swain County High School is no exception to that rule. As any of you who've been around Swain County High School over the years know, one of the biggest problems that we face is the multiple entry points that we have at the school itself. Any of you who've been there over the last 35 years know exactly what I'm talking about. So what we want to do in phase one of this uh, sales tax referendum, if we were granted that money, is we want to secure Swain County High School where we can provide one access point uh, to folks who are not involved in our school. So let me show you how that's going to work. The first phase of this is a road that would start at our current road and go all the way around our campus and then exit down on Bryson Branch Road. And you say to yourself, we already have that. We exit on Bryson Branch Road. That's true, we do. But what you're missing is that this road we're proposing goes all the way around the school, which gives us access to the backside of the school in an emergency situation from more than one point, which is very important. So this road is something that we hope the Department of Transportation is going to help us with, but we need to do the site preparation for it. We need to get it ready. We need to move, th move things around and put uh, culverts and so forth in so that this road is ready to go. That's the first phase of what we're doing is this road around the high school. It would eventually encompass a bus area outside the baseball field. Uh, in our original plans so that the buses would travel only one side of the campus where traffic from parents and students would be on the other side of campus. Again, making it a safer uh, environment for our students. Now, phase two, let me tell you about it because I'm real excited about it. What phase two is going to do is actually add additional classrooms to Swain County High School and also bump out the existing cafeteria. In other words, we're going to build out from it towards what is now the bus parking lot. And we're gonna make that the main entrance to Swain High School. Now look here on the map what that would allow us to do. If we move this initial entrance to the front right here, now we can put a gated entry up over here and on this side. And our back of our campus, in other words, the majority of our campus is isolated from the public so that you go in through one buzz-in entry door, just like our east and west campuses. So that's the second phase of that. Now that's going to cost a little bit more money. What we will be responsible for, if we're able to get this grant that would pay for the majority of the, of the building, what we will be responsible for of is clearing out the building itself and then being able to initiate classrooms once they're inside of there. We have to outfit those classrooms, in other words. So that's going to take some of that money. You see, this is where the $300,000 that's potentially generated from this quarter cent referendum is so vitally important to our school systems. Let me cut in right there. What you just saw was recorded on October the 8th. It's now October the 9th. Not even 24 hours since we produced the original video. And in that time we have found out that we have been awarded 4.7 million dollars in grant funding for critical needs capital spending. That is so exciting and we were hoping that that would come through but we weren't certain. Now again through partnering with our commissioners we're going to be able to do some of those things that I just mentioned or mentioned yesterday. We're going to be able to add classrooms, we're going to be able to add a new counseling center and more importantly than those I think we're going to be able to change the entrance point for the high school but there still is a critical need and that is we have to have a change in the way that traffic flows at the high school. That's still going to take funding and so we're asking for you to think about that as we try to put all of these plans together and consider that on November the 6th when you go to vote because the quarter cent referendum 
will enable us to think differently even about how we can make transportation work. The Department of Transportation would love to help us, but their budget cycle is pretty far out for us. We need to make this move now. So when you go to vote, think about that. We are doing all that we can, and the commissioners are partnering with us so that we can achieve the goals for safety and for education. Now we need to consider some other elements as well. We still need to build a Bright Adventures in a different place. We still need to move our bus garage. We still have some things we need to do at the middle school for safety and also to take care of critical needs that are there. So consider those elements of information as you go to the polls on November the 6th and then vote your conscience. Vote for the children. We will be transparent and we will be accountable to you. Thank you for listening to us. Hope you have a blessed day. God bless you.